Do you want to learn every skill in Gorilla Tag? Well, you came to the right video. In this video, I'm going to be covering three different categories. Double walls, walls, ground, and water. So let's just get right into this video. Okay, so the first section we are starting out with is double walls. Okay, so the first skill I'm going to be teaching you guys is pinch climbing. Okay. So we are in third person here, just so I can give you guys a better view. So, when pinch climbing, you just want to grab the sides of the walls really tight, and then put and move your hands in a circle, like a circular motion when you push down, as you can see. So just do that, and... It should only take maybe a few tries. I only I learned it in a few tries. And then you should be able to go up the wall really fast. But make sure when you guys are doing this that you're also pushing yourself in while you're doing the circles, like pushing your head against the wall. Okay, so the next skill we are going to be learning is wall bouncing. I'm just gonna demonstrate it right here. So basically you want one hand right here and push, it's basically just pushing to the side but also pushing up. One thing I struggled with when I would do this is I would like, I think try too hard that I would start pushing myself like back and stuff and I'd eventually like fall back like that. So make sure you're even the whole time when you're doing this, it would help if you try to stay on these white things while going up. The next thing I'm gonna be teaching you is elevator climbing. This is basically what elevator climbing looks like. I'll go into first person to show you. So, uh, first thing you wanna do is put your arm through like this, then tilt your head to the side and move your hand in circular motions. If you're hitting something right here, just move a little bit forward. You want to put your arm in, and then tilt your head to the side or else this won't work, and then move your hands in really fast, small, circular motions. Alright, so we are done with the double wall section. Good job, you've completed it. Now we will be moving on to the ground. So. The first thing I'm gonna be teaching you how to do on ground is just the right way to move on ground. I mean, I guess there's not really a right way, but you basically wanna have one hand, make sure it, that it's horizontal to the ground or whatever that is. Okay, basically just do that and make sure you're not going too much off the ground. Act like you're grabbing forward, like boom, grabbing forward and then next hand, next hand, and so on. It should look like this. Funny running. So, funny running is basically just like circular motions like this, as you can see bunch of circular motions on the ground. <laughs> Helps if you're on lower hertz, but I mean, you can still do it. The last thing I'm gonna be teaching you in the ground section is the two-handed like, like lunge, sort of like, I'll show you. So basically, you wanna have both hands on the ground like this. And a lot of people actually say this is slow, but it can actually be pretty fast if you do it right. So, first thing you wanna do, put your hands like this and lunge forward. And then keep doing that. Make sure you're not going too high, cause look, it makes you slower. So the first thing I'm gonna teach you with walls is wall climbing. Wall climbing isn't that hard usually, but basically what you want to do is start on this wall. I recommend this wall because 
it's very like it's literally like very you know straight on like there's no really I don't I don't really know how to explain it so the first thing I'm gonna teach you is wall climbing if you don't know what that is it's basically where you just go like this on the wall and um, I recommend this wall because it is it doesn't really have any like super big curves but it's just like straight on so just practice on this wall maybe just going like that and then you can move on to hitting like that Basically, what a lot of people say is you want to be like you're skiing, like if you've ever seen anyone skiing before, if you've skied before, then kind of want to do that motion, and that's the fastest way to get up. So the next skill I'm going to teach you is wall running. I saw this YouTube short that you can practice right here, but I really don't think it's enough like enough room to do it while running you want to have your hand kind of vertical to the wall so yeah have your hand vertically to the wall like this and then you just want to push down but try not to push too out so like when you're doing it kind of try to come in and you can also like push forward too makes it a little bit easier. Practice going like this on this wall. Uh, in the old caves, there was a better way to teach this, but old caves is gone now, so. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna be teaching you is verticaling. Basically, you just wanna move your hand and kind of like, people say circular, but I'm gonna have you do an oval because it seems to work better hands in a fast oval thing like a move your hands in an oval pretend like there's a zero on the wall right here pretend you're making a zero with your hand when you're doing it All right, so the next thing is Lucio running so with Lucio running Lucio running is basically like wall running, but you add another hand on. So, what you want to do is I recommend putting your hands in like a triangle shape, kind of like this. And then, just like wall running, you want to be horizontal to the wall. And make sure you're going one hand at a time. What many people like mistake I still do this myself but they go like this they go like and they just mess up just backwards you can look still backwards which I like doing hey that is all I have for walls let's move on to water. Right, so water I do recommend uh, being on a little bit higher Hertz as it helps I'm still on 72 right now but yeah Never mind that. Just don't forget to subscribe because it helps support me so much. And at 1k, I'm giving away 5,000 shiny rocks. So don't miss out on that. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is just swimming in general. I recommend diving in because you can sink to the bottom. That is actually really cool. Um, you can basically just move your hands like this. Like in that swimming gorilla meme. Yeah, uh. All right, so the next skill I made up myself, I call it backward swimming. Okay, so, back with backward swimming, I like moving my uh, hands in circles behind me, kind of like a rowboat. That's where I got the idea, and uh, you can go really fast with it. I mean, there were, I'm pretty sure there was an update, and you can't go as fast as it with you as you could, but you can still go pretty dang fast. Behind you, 
You're moving them in fast circular motions, okay? Uh, it takes some practice. It might, you might not be very fast at first, but I promise you'll be fast. So for the last skill of this video, it's gonna be water walking. A lot of people want to know how to do this, so I'm glad I'm including this in this tutorial. It's pretty easy. I do recommend doing it from buoy to buoy. Like, I'll show you in a second. Basically, you want to go from this buoy to that buoy, and you can just go back and forth. But basically, you want to just slam as fast as you can. Like, in the beginning, I taught you how to bunny run, but, alright, let me slow this down a little bit. So, basically, what you want to do is move, so, how I taught you funny running like this, do that as fast as you can in the water, and I'm pretty sure you're- I'm pretty sure you will get it pretty fast. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, just funny running as fast as I can like that, uh, you can walk on water, as you saw in that. Okay, so you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm giving away 5,000 shiny rocks at 1k. Hey guys, um... I have a word from K9 for you real quick. I'll go get him. Hey guys, it's me, K9. And this is the wrong color code. It's not actually K9. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Subscribe to CCJTG. Now. 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 Anyway, guys, if you want a part two of every skill in Gorilla Tag, then get this video to 100 likes and tell me in the comments what else you would like me to add to this series. Anyway, guys, see you guys in the next video.